Have you ever needed new fishing gear and immediately jumped in your car to head to the store, but then thought to yourself, there's gotta be an easier way to buy fishing gear? No? Just me? Well, anyways. Introducing Amazon, the world's biggest retailer that sells pretty much anything. And I thought, what a better way to test out Amazon's fishing gear than to challenge my friend, Flesh of the Fisherman, to a tournament. Here's how this is going to work. One of us is going to get a $15 Amazon package, and one of us is going to get a $150 Amazon package. Both of these packages include a rod, a reel, and a bunch of lures. We'll each be in our own boats fishing three different sections of this massive canal system. I am going to be starting in section one, and Fletcher is going to start in section three. We'll both have one hour to fish each section, and both of us will be working towards our opposite starting sections. In order to win the challenge, we'll be adding the weight of our biggest fish from each section. And whoever has the most combined weight from all three sections wins the challenge. Now, to decide who gets which budget, I placed a piece of paper in these two cups. One that says the cheap budget, and one that says the expensive budget. After we mix these cups up to not know which is which, Fletcher is then going to pick a cup and look to see what he's got. After that, I'm going to pick a cup based on Fletcher's reaction. I can either pick the new cup or steal Fletcher's. All right, Fletcher, it is time to go ahead and pick your cup. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we Ooh, got. Okay, okay. Do we have you the got? cheap or Ooh. the expensive? You can't show me now. You can't show me. I'm not showing you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn away. I'm, I'm turn unraveling. Away. What do you got, dude? I have the expensive side. Really? And it is looking nice. I'm I'm just really glad that I'm gonna be able to get this box with this cup. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about the situation. You probably definitely want to pick this one. If if you want to catch more fish than me, okay, and have a better chance, you're probably gonna to want to pick this one because it is the expensive cup. I don't know what to go with, dude. I don't know what to go with. You could be lying to me that you got you said you have the expensive. I kinda of wanna believe you now, because you're a very trustworthy person, you know? I kinda of wanna just Am I? Ex <laughs> I don't know now. I don't know. Oh uh, uh, you're be better judge my character than me, I guess. But this is the expensive one. That's all I'm letting you know. That's the expensive know. one? Yeah. You can choose to believe that or not, but I'm just letting you know I'm, I that think, it is. I think I'm going to steal your cup. I'm going you're to steal you're your cup. you going to steal my cup? I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal it, dude. Oh, let's go, dude. I knew you were telling the Dang. truth. Oh, I knew you were telling the truth. You were. I was like, you're trying to psych me out. Let's go, baby. The expensive budget back to back, dude. I guess I am uh, working with whatever's in here. Whatever. Especially there's a, a whole fishing rod in here. I'm rod and reel. Getting all too familiar to fishing rods that fit in a small box. They're not great. All right, y'all. Jumping in here at section one, and I'm excited to get this challenge started, baby. This is where we're starting, guys. Section three. We're actually like all the way over here on this far right side right now. So we're about to launch and get going here. We have our Zebco Premium Lime Green Rod, the Rome. Pretty nice. It's got a lot of action to it. And let's see what we want to fish with first. I think we're going to have a lot of options because we do have the expensive budget. And there she is, the $15 box. Let's crank this open and see what we got. Supposedly, we have a rod, a reel, and some baits in here for all under 15 bucks. So with that in mind, I'm not expecting the highest of quality. Ooh, we have a little mystery tackle box, kid. Full transparency, guys. I, in fact, did not get this box from Amazon. It's the box that I ordered was not going to arrive in time, so I'd use this box to sub in for the box that I've ordered. So now that we've cleared things up, don't cancel me, and uh, let's jump back into the video. This little reel seems pretty standard for a cheap spinning reel, but it's a spinning reel, not a bait caster. I feel like an ultra cheap bait caster would be way worse than a cheap spinning reel. Let me see, what do we got? Ooh, we got a little KVD Strike King Perfect Plastics Game Hog. I think I'm gonna start with this, honestly. This is looking money. Oh, if we're going for big fish, this is big fish magic right here. And there she blows, guys. Not much to be excited about. Let's take this little guard off. And it looks like we have a telescoping fishing rod. Oh yeah, that is a micro rod to say the least. All of like three feet. I fished three hours with this thing. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks a lot, man. I kind of feel bad that Fletcher got the cheap budget. In back-to-back -back videos, the TikTok shop video, he had a really cheap budget. And this video, he has a really cheap budget. Good news about this rod being two feet long is we only have four eyelets to go through. Pretty straightforward, easy setup. Now that we have that all set up, let's see what we got for baits. Let's get on the board, let's catch one real quick, and then we're gonna dive into the rest of our lures here. Because we only have an hour, and the way I see it, if you do not catch a fish in a section, that is so 
so bad. Ooh, topwater frogs. I am not sure if that's going to be the move here, guys. We have some other things to work with. Looks like we have a Ned Rig kit. I don't know if there's Ned heads. We have wide gap hooks. And we got these guys. Um... Yeah, what is this? Alrighty, y'all. We have the little game hog. Let's give it a little flip underneath this tree. Okay. I'm kind of lost, y'all. I think we're at a dead end. It kind of goes this way. I don't really know where we're at. Let me actually pull up the map here. Let me see. If I had to guess, I think we are in this spot right here. We have a lot of water to cover. Okay, we need to we need to get moving here. Let's get going. I don't know what I'm looking at. These are some weird looking baits. There's a terminal tackle. So it looks like we have some jig heads, which are actually nice. I'll actually pair these up with the Ned baits that we have. That's actually going to be a really solid bait for me today. This, on the other hand, <laughs> is interesting let me open this up and just see what this actually is i think right off the rip we just like fish these trees and work up to this bridge i really have to learn how to fish with this because this rod's a little janky not gonna lie maybe you're supposed to rig your line through that is that what that's supposed to do and do like do one of these guys <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure what i got so we're just gonna take one of these jig heads before we try those out at all and we're gonna start with the ned rigs this tends to be the dirtiest part of the pond so i'm I'm gonna start with this black and blue just to have as much contrast as possible. Completely forgot to set the timer. One hour starts now. I apologize, guys. I forgot to set the timer. Don't come after me. I didn't catch any fish, and if I did, it wouldn't have counted. So, oh, that's not good. That's, that's okay. We got some issues. Now that we're all rigged up and ready to go, it's about time to start that timer. But before we do that, I want to take a look at our section. So this is everything we have to fish for the next hour. And I definitely want to prioritize our time that we have here and kind of move more over into this section. There's some few bank areas I want to hit as we work our way over there. But let's go ahead and get to work and get that timer started. One hour starts now. Let's see how this little rod performs. Oh my gosh, this freaking backlash. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> No! Are you kidding me? That felt like a giant. <laughs> On this sunny bank, too. <sighs> that felt like such a good fish. Just give a quick drag test. A little tight really loose oh what do we have going on yep the lines jam that's what it is we're having fun guys lots of fun way more fun than tyler and my reel is like not functioning properly is it cracked my stupid reel is cracked do i have a fish oh my gosh i have a fish oh my gosh dude my bait was just sitting in the water <laughs> dealing with this rod oh my gosh turns out the bite is hot that is absurd i can't believe that just happened all right 15 dollars budget going crazy all zeroed out let's see what the damage is one pound seven ounces not too bad <laughs> let's get let's get going i'm trying to figure out what's going on with my rod here we got like tangled line we got messed up reels out of the packaging everything is just not working look at that that's not how you want your reel to look and function that definitely looks snapped good thing i grabbed some duct tape and came with the plan because i have fished with a lot of really cheap fishing gear and it tends to break as soon as i get on the board y'all i'm gonna switch it up and i'm gonna like start like going through some of our lures here very curious what fletcher is up to is he on the board is he not on the board is he he could potentially be winning right now and we wouldn't know insert that puppy right there and wrap that up need some more structural integrity looks like that black and blue was the move Ooh, give me some of that. We got a lot of water to cover, y'all. We actually haven't even made it out of this pocket yet. I'm just a very slow fisherman. Like, Fletcher's fast. Fletcher's freaking sprint. Fletcher's a fast fisherman, y'all. Like, they should call him Fletcher the... That's a fish. I, I got him. It's a giant. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's a nice one. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of big. Don't break off. Don't break off. Loosen up my drag. Loosen up my drag. I was not uh I was making such a bad joke. Like I was stumbling across my joke. I was like, this is this is not funny. <laughs> and I was just like thinking of, about my life, just regretting everything. And then and then I cut catch a fish, which I would have ideally liked to cut that out of the video, but it's making it in. Get up here, buddy. Get up here. Get up here. First fish of the day, baby. Oh, no, let's, oh he's not that big. I thought he was way bigger than that. Check that drag. Way too loose. Still loose. That's tight. I don't know. The drag system on this is very subpar. Kind of like Tyler's haircut. Man's got more hair than what he knows to do with. 2.08. Put it on the scoreboard. Boom. Just like that. Pow. We probably lead in with a two pounder. 
right now. For, for now, for now. Tyler needs all the help he can get with that expensive budget. I'm telling you right now, I'm coming. I'm not just gonna bow down and let him run away with it. Ooh, ooh, there's fishies. 50 foot, there's a school of them over there. We gotta sneak up on them. Wait a minute, I think we might have to go in the box and we might have to see if we have anything to fish these fishies out here. Okay, what else do we have? I mean, we have the mystery tackle box. I might as well open this and see what's inside of it. Ooh. We got some little craws, we got some hooks, and we got a, a, a sticker. Not bad. What else? We got anything else in here? Ooh. Honestly, this is a great lure to fish these fish out here. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, oh guy, I literally just had something pick it up. He dropped it instantly, though. Oh, he's on it. Yes. Yes, fish on. Fish on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, son. Get your booty in the boat. Get your booty in the boat. I'm not gonna give this lure much time at all, really. Like, I don't have a whole lot of faith in it. This lure is basically a weight, and it serves as kind of like a lipless crankbait, but it's just this piece of metal, but it's designed in a way to where it vibrates when you move through the water. It's pretty cool. I actually haven't really ever fished with one of these things, like, too thoroughly, and uh, and we're just gonna kind of reel it through the water. This is nice. One pound, six ounce. An ounce shorter than my last. Not gonna call. Adios. There's definitely an area I wanna get into where I have a really good feeling I could smack a big one. There's this cove that's got all these rocks in the back of it that just has a history of holding giants. I'm talking about certified biggins, and we gonna get in there. We gonna work our way up to that magic little honey hole. Fletcher was kind of doing a good deed. He doesn't have this technology on his boat, but these are his home waters. This is basically his home lake. You know, he's like, Tyler, it's only fair we give you the boat with the more advantage on it. I'm glad this tape is doing the job. It's holding this little reel together. I was not about to deal with that for three hours. Okay, I've given up. I saw a whole school of fish. I threw this bait at him and uh, I got no bites. So back to the box. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Ooh, these could be crazy. Okay. I don't even know what I'm gonna do if I hook a fish like over three pounds. <laughs> it's going to be an experience to say the least. Someone I know literally just caught a hit and a half pounder in the same body of water, I don't know, probably two days ago. And the biggins have been out and biting. So <laughs> I am a little nervous about hooking into a big fish with this. If I hook a 10 pounder and I lose them, I'm gonna cry. Let's throw these guys. Why not? Didn't seem like there was a whole lot of Texas rig options in there. So I really just wanna like fish it fast and furious with old. Oh my gosh, this thing is, <gasps> whoa, this is gonna catch a big fish. Okay guys, we're gonna make a little run here. Up past this bridge ahead of me is that cove I was talking about. And there's some islands that have some good laydowns and structured stuff that the fish have like a pretty high percentage chance of like hanging out around. So we're gonna go give that a shot and see what we can get cooked up. Oh my gosh, they're stacked right on this point. Hold up. Oh my gosh there's so many fish right here trying to be as stealthy as possible we're working our way back into this corner this is where that juicy little rock pocket i was talking about is i want to make sure we kind of take our time work our way in there this little stretch can be pretty productive as well okay guys look at this there's fish all on that drop off like crazy Look at that. I think we've come up with a good strategy to be able to like work on these fish. There's a tree that I can kind of line up on right where there's, oh, we got bit. We got bit. Oh my gosh, we got one. We got one in that school. Hold up. Oh my gosh. We literally got bit in that school. I start making some casts from right here and slowly work our way back towards that back right corner. That's like the honey hole. Oh. Uh... Back to the box, y'all. Back to the box, okay? I'm thinking we're gonna fish with one more lure and then we're gonna go back to these guys because it's proven to work. Let me see what we got here. Lift the strength bait, let's try it. We gotta go quick. We got 26 minutes left. We only have one fish. Oh no! Oh yes, 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 I got a fish. I got a fish. I can't tell how big she is. I cannot tell how big she is. She definitely feels like she's bigger than the last two. Okay, okay, come on, come on in here. <laughs> yeah, son. Not the giant I was after, but it is definitely a fish. And that might be a slight upgrade. If they're willing to eat a crankbait, I think that's gonna come in clutch in the last like 30 minutes of this challenge that we basically have. One pound, six ounces, still smaller. Dang, it is what it is. On to the next. 21 minutes left, so we've used about two thirds of our time. Got him, got him, y'all. In the school of fish that we saw. That was crazy. 
That was crazy. I cannot believe we got bit there. Oh, stay on. He's a nice one. Oh, he, oh he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. <gasps> Get in the boat. Okay. That's so crazy. I didn't necessarily see like giants, but they're probably all like size like this. Let's weigh him. He has to beat 2.08. 1.78. Not going to work. Let him go. Thanks, buddy. Let's get right back in there. I think we can do it again. Let's see. So we're up in a new area, and this is the area I'm excited to get into. This little piece of land in front of me is an island, and there's all kinds of big laydowns that are falling down all the way around it. We got issues, y'all. Uh, my little boat just died. Maybe, maybe this is why Fletcher gave me this boat. I'm not sure if there's a, uh, uh, okay. What to do? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got him off of that flat. Surely that's gonna be an upgrade. He tried to jump in the boat. This fish just straight up tried to jump in the boat. Okay, please, please be more than one pound, seven ounce. One pound, nine ounces, slight upgrade. We'll take every ounce we can get. It always comes down to ounces when it comes to fishing tournaments with the bass. We are going to finish this section out. It's nice that I didn't go too far away from the spot. I'm actually gonna just paddle back up there. Okay, here we go, baby. Ugh. Fletcher set me up. He set me up, I knew it. So I'm down to my last few minutes out here, guys in our first section. I wanna try this offshore spot. There's a big flat out to my left and this spot is like maybe seven or eight feet. And there's a little trench where an old creek bed runs through here. I feel like there could be some bigger ones stacked up in here. Just your friendly neighborhood crankbait coming in for a stroll. Oh my gosh, right there, right there. Oh, it's a nice one. This feels like a giant, oh my gosh. Okay, he choked it. That's crazy. We're gonna flip him. We're gonna flip him. Okay. He absolutely, that is, that is crazy. He choked it. He choked the crankbait. Okay, get up here. <gasps> Boom. Like I said, y'all, they were all the same size. But check that out. That's so wild. I think this might help. He's definitely two. Please help us. We went through a lot of work to get this guy. We have, oh, let's go. Let's go. 2.16. Just like that. Okay, hold up. Back her on up. Ugh. Something bite. The clock is winding down. So I want one big one in section one. We didn't even get a two pounder. Oh no, there goes the time. Shucks, man. I mean, I don't feel the best about having like, I mean, almost a two and a half. Oh frick, that's the timer, y'all. That is the timer. Uh, okay, that is all she wrote for section one for us. We are going to make our way to section two with the pad. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to run back to the house and see if we can find a battery. Uh, that's probably going to be the move. So, I mean, when I say run, I mean, we're, we're going to walk very slowly back. So, I just got a call from Tyler and supposedly his boat is having some issues. I guess his battery's not working or he's got a, some kind of situation going on. So, he actually had to run back and switch boats or change batteries out. I'm not really sure what he decided to do, but we're on our way to section two and we're going to get started as soon as he gets his boat back in the water. So, hopefully we can make it happen. Sheesh! Pulling up to section number two, baby. We would have just trolled here, but uh, we actually had to go back and get a whole different boat. You're always wondering, like, why do people have multiple boats? This is why you have multiple boats, okay? Alrighty, y'all, we have not started section two timer yet, but look who is rolling up at freaking one mile an hour. It is Fletcher, the fisherman. He is on his way. Ahoy there! Ahoy, dude! Yeah. Uh, have been boat problems, I see. Yeah, just just a little bit. Trying to get this guy <laughs> in the water. Get her on in. Uh. I'm glad you got a backup option. How is section three? Hey, you're gonna have to find that out for yourself. <laughs> all I'm gonna say is I got some bites. You got some bites. I got some bites. That's all you need to know. One hour on the clock starts in three, two, one, go. All right, guys. I'm gonna get moving this way. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Tyler start here we're gonna make a long haul before oh, we wow. actually take a cast interesting fletcher's making some moves we have to get our boat prepped and ready hopefully the battery doesn't die on this one uh but it definitely it might it might so here's what i'm thinking guys i'm liking what we've been using here but i'm actually gonna cut this off and try to use those other weird baits that we have in there i just want to throw something that has a little bit bigger from profile see if we can get a bigger bite fletcher's going over there i'm gonna kind of get on this bank and we still have our box of lures i definitely want to dive in and really see 
see what we have to work with in there. So these guys are real interesting, folks. Uh, we're gonna crank this open really quick. I'm thinking we're gonna go with this kind of like shad pattern to start with, but I think the way you rig this is kind of weird. I think you're supposed to like go through this hole here first, then tie this on to a jig head. Give it a few twists, cinch down that knot, and now we gotta figure out how this actually goes in here. I think we just rig it similar to the Ned. Okay, we gotta go with our confidence bait. Let's tie it up. Texas rig. Oh, I've lost sight of Fletcher. Okay, let's work up to Fletcher. Let's make sure that we don't see him catch any big fish. And there goes the eyes. <laughs> they came off right when I tried to push that in. No surprise there from our micro budget. But yeah, I, uh, I'm i assuming it goes something like that and you're supposed to just bounce it like this and make it wobble. Okay, we just casted. We're gonna let it sit and marinate to the box. Okay, we haven't seen everything that this box has to offer. Oh my gosh, what the frick is this? Whoa, it looks like a mixture between like a buzz bait and a freaking whopper plopper. Rolling up to where I wanted to be, but yeah, we're, here we are with this. <laughs> I do not know how this is gonna work. This seems like very counterproductive. It just seems like this is just gonna be like a tangled mess. Never fished with anything like this. Just feels wrong in, in so many ways. What else do we got in here? We got the six sense trace swim bait. I love these things. This thing is crazy. Hold up my rods moving again. Let me just check nothing no fish i feel like tyler was just trolling the 15 dollar budget putting these frogs in here i mean what am i gonna do with that frog with this little tiny pixie stick this is actually a fairy wand abracadabra spelliamos Ooh, flukes. Oh, you cannot beat the pearl white. I'm sorry. The salty super fluke white pearl. Not the pearl white. It's the white pearl. But we have some decisions to make here. Okay, is this all that we have in our box? Let me see. Whoa. Look at these guys. Big bite baits. War party. This looks like a little bluegill. Like, what the heck? Okay, this is definitely not working. I'm not having any confidence in this technique. I like the bait. We're just going to switch it up, though. I don't know what's in Tyler's box, but I'm sure he has a lot more to work with than I do. I hope I embarrass him so bad. We've wasted a lot of time. My butt's wet because this is Fletcher's backup boat, and the seats were soaking wet. So, you know, I'm just not comfortable. I'm in discomfort right now, and I've not caught a fish yet and i've had my electronics stripped away from me so it's honestly like we have the cheap budget at this point i can't find a buy anywhere what in the world and look at tyler he's he's creeping up on me hey man hi fletcher you really want to fish that bank there's a lot of fish there really got one got one dude golly got dude. one that's crazy oh my gosh <laughs> oh let's go i hate him already. Please stay on please stay I on i hate him so much He's not good at fishing. He just got a better budget. I just need a Fletcher to give me his, uh... oh, get up there. He had to give me his freaking, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Thank you for giving me your blessing. That's all I needed to catch the first fish. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Fletcher, what a nice guy. Give me the keys to Tyler's budget, man. Ooh, I'm smoking him. Hold that one pound. Four ounces, baby. What's crazy, y'all, is I literally threw this crankbait out here, let it sink, got distracted because I was talking with Fletcher, and then caught a fish. That's all it took. Yes, yes, thank the Lord. We got a fish on. No way, Fletcher's got one. We got a fish on, guys, we need to make it count. Oh, it's a good one. No! <laughs> ah! Fletcher lost one. Let's go. Okay, this is what we need. We're in Fletcher's head. We're on the board. I don't think he is with his joke about me fishing this bank, uh, which I actually caught a fish right here. So, you know, joke's on him. We're definitely starting to run out of time, and I am not liking the position we're in. If we zero in this section, section two, I'm going to be in deep trouble. All righty, y'all. We only have like probably 10, 15 minutes left. I'm going to get back to where I got this bite over here and see if we can upgrade. But if we did not have a lipless crankbait in our budget, we would have been hurt. I mean, you could fish a Texas rig out here, but I feel like these fish are just kind of right there. Oh my gosh. The way he hit that, this feels like a tank. Oh, it's a nice one. I don't know if he's an upgrade or not. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh. He just stopped it. Get up here. Uh, I don't know, y'all. He might upgrade. He might not. Right there. One pound. Oh, he's an upgrade, baby. One pound, eight ounces. Add it to the total. 
We got this. Okay. Right off this bank line, huh? Uh-oh, I hear Fletcher. <laughs> I hear Fletcher. Hi. Ahoy there. You catch any? Man, it has been a struggle. I I've been telling these folks, this is the start of my villain arc, having to fish with this little rod <laughs> and deal with all these snags. Fletcher's having a tough time over there. I'm not gonna lie. He could come back. He can catch a five just like that and literally just be beating me with one fish. I mean, I don't know. His whole rod might just snap if he gets on a fish that big. Going through a little bit of adversity here, guys, but it's, it's good character building. What you doing, Fletcher? You better not be trying to steal my spot now. Dude, I would never steal your spot. Never? Are you saying all the spots I fish are that bad? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> if you're fishing there, I don't want to be there. You know it's got to be a bad decision. What you, what you throwing? Uh, a little lipless crankbait action, man. Ah, uh, you dirty dog. Did you get a lipless crankbait in your box? No, but I got a topwater frog. They run over my line? <laughs> Come here. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, ain't no way, y'all. Ain't no me. way. I didn't. I did, not, I did not plan for this. <laughs> coming through. Coming through. Coming through. We're, hey, just give gonna, me my we're gonna resupply back, really quick D on our bait. Thank you. No, 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 we, no, no. That we is needed, not. That is not okay. Oh, we cut my we line. We need to acquire no a new lure, guys. Since you're so gracious, I'm gonna gift you with three lures for one. <laughs> you're gonna give me the frogs. I'm gonna give you three lures for one. Oh, three for one wow. trade. Deal. I never, I never agreed to a, this. This is a hostile takeover. Oh, we'll have to see it, man. This is just, this is just a great day to be alive. Alrighty, y'all. Back on this point where we caught one earlier. We have like a couple minutes left. Running out of time. At least we have a fish on the board. I don't think I've seen Fletcher catch any. Um, yeah, he's been struggling. Not gonna lie. Oh, dude. The that's timer time. just go off. That's time, dude. Time to head to the next section. Well, that's all she wrote for section two. Uh, I guess I zeroed. So we're gonna have to make things interesting in round three if, I, if I'm gonna have a <laughs> shot at coming back. Thankfully, that's my favorite section, and there's a spot I have in mind. So I wish you the best of luck, Tyler, and I hope you can make something happen. Good luck, Fletcher. And here we are at section one. One hour on the clock. Start now okay now that we're in the first section we are going to move all the way to my favorite spots i got a few spots up around this corner and i definitely want to make the best use of our time so we're going to be trying to get the best bank for our buck all right y'all as we approach section three i must figure out what we are going to fish with i'm definitely going to throw this top water around a little fluky could be good but i think just to get on the board we are going to throw this guy and see what we can make happen i don't know what these fish are doing guys they they're just shut down on me. I have not been able to get anything going. I feel like this is gonna be such a good day. Caught him so great in the first spot and it's just been a ghost town since. I mean, honestly, just like a whole lot of nothing. I don't know, y'all. I'm very tempted to throw that top water. I think that's a perfect little bait right now. Tying up this bait, this thing looks so crazy. It's like, you know, Whopper Plopper buzz bait had a baby, the freaking buzz plop. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like in the water here. Oh my gosh money and it's got a treble hook coming up on it guys here it is the spot i have been waiting for all the heartache all the hardship i have been dealing with today is about to just be forgotten if we just fish it like this around these trees we should have a very good chance on just getting destroyed covering a lot of water here with this bait. I feel like we might just get lucky on it at this point. Like that is our only chance. It's just to get lucky. Like this is not what they are doing right now. That's it. We're cutting off this and we're going back to the net. I just don't know what to do guys. Definitely in a bind. Nothing is seeming to go my way. Oh hate to do it y'all but i think i'm going to cut this off just to make sure we at least get a fish but i definitely want to come back to it all right y'all how much time did we waste on this bait we wasted okay we wasted 20 minutes and that's a good thing you know what i think we should try the fluke at least give it a chance y'all and the thing i like about a fluke is we can like work it like a uh, moving bait but then we can let it sink and it's kind of working towards the bottom too so going back to the og the black and blue gotta be the move it's the only thing that has produced a bite for us today we should have stuck with it all along oh it's so so money that flu looks crazy oh my gosh it's fishing got him y'all 
Got him. That's a that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. He's literally pulling the boat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a tank. That's a mega. That is a mega. Give him some slack. Slide the seat back here. Slide the seat back. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. I am horrible at grabbing fish like this. Oh, don't do it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come up. I need to come up here. Come on, get up here. Show me your mouth. Show me your mouth. Show me your mouth. Let's, let's go. We got him, baby. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Whew. Fish number one for section three. Boom, take that, Fletcher. I doubt. I doubt Fletcher has a fish. I mean, he might. He's. No, he's got my crankbait, so he probably has fish. Yes, yes, come on, come on, yeah, finally, a bite. Get on in here, son. That is what I needed, a little sign of life, something to get me going, break the silence, and that is fish number one for section number one. We have... Hold at three pounds, six ounces, let's go. That is a legit tank. I mean, kinda, it's a three pounder, it's a three pound tank. Let her go, thank you, baby, appreciate it. Oh my gosh, there she goes. One pound, seven ounces. Nothing crazy, but nevertheless a fish. I appreciate every nibble I get. Thanks for the nibble. Come on, if we could catch like a five, I'd feel so good, because that means Fletcher would ha probably have to catch like an eight to beat us. Got him. That is a giant. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's that's a freaking eight, y'all. That is a freaking eight. I'm not even kidding. I am not even kidding. This is a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, we got a we got a player now. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. That is the biggest fish. Oh my gosh, y'all. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, I can't get her mouth, I can't get her mouth, oh my gosh, oh, look at this thing, oh, that's gotta be the challenge right there. Fight's about to come alive, we're dwindling down to the last few minutes here, need to make some magic happen, I got some clutch jeans, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, check this out guys. Okay, here we go, what do we have, what do we have, five pounds, 11 ounces, baby. That's gonna do it right there. Fletcher's literally gonna have to catch a 10 to beat this. Oh, Fletcher better better come up with something, but we're gonna let her go. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh, there she goes. Oh, is that a fish? Yes, it is. Ho, ho, ho. And it's a giant. Oh my God. And that snaps. Always good. Everything's going really splendid for us. Absolute unit. We have six minutes left in this challenge. Man, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I have one follow me. No. Did y'all see that? Maybe the lipless crankbait would have been crazy in here. Oh, I have that big swim bait, y'all. Oh my gosh, we have like a couple minutes left. That big swim bait would be crazy. Hold up. Oh my gosh, y'all. We could probably catch some megas on this thing. Hold up. Let me see. Right there. Oh my gosh, this thing would be crazy if we get munched on it. Got him. Giant. Oh my gosh, another giant on the swim bait. On the swim bait. Oh my gosh, there's multiple. There's two of them. There's two of them, guys. Oh my gosh. He choked it. I, I, I can't even, I don't even know how big this fish is. I mean, he's probably similar size to the other one. I gotta try to get him in here. Okay, hold up. How much time do we have left? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh, y'all. Don't flap. Don't flap. Oh frick, that's a dangerous spot. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck is happening, yo? Oh my gosh. Is this bigger? Did we just upgrade? I, <sighs> what is happening here? What is happening, y'all? All right, y'all, we are having technical difficulties with the scale. I'm gonna say she's probably a good four or five pounds. Like, this is, what a giant, y'all. Let me let her go. We probably have a few minutes left. 
Oh, there she goes. That is so crazy. We literally have close to 10 pounds with just two fish. Only have a few minutes left. Need to make something happen right now. This timer should go off any second and I'm just dealing with tangles and everything. Nothing is going my way. <laughs> there goes the timer, guys. Oh, it was a struggle.